Hey everyone, Freddy here with another video. This time we're going to be talking about OneDrive. Is OneDrive a good backup option if I want to make sure that I'm protected from ransomware? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Freddy Dubon and in this channel I provide tips and tricks for you and your business that will save you many hours of research. So OneDrive used to be called SkyDrive, and this is Microsoft um, option that comes to bundle with Office 365. If you have a Windows 10 machine, you already have it installed on your computer. Microsoft gives you five gigabytes of free space right off the bat. If you need more, you can buy more as well. When you click on OneDrive, you're going to get an option that says, please sign in. This is signing in with your OneDrive account. Okay. Microsoft respects your privacy. Next. So again, this is just letting you know what your OneDrive is going to be. Click next. I'm just taking the defaults at this point. We're just going to be synchronizing the computer to OneDrive. Okay, if I want to look at the settings of my OneDrive, I can click on this little cloud here and then click on settings and go to settings here. Uh, under backup, I can tell it which folders I want to synchronize to the cloud. So I can click on manage backup. And it's telling me that I have my desktop, my documents, and my pictures. Uh, start backup. So I'm going to let it run for a little bit just uh, to get all the files up on the cloud. So, so far, easy, right? Installation is already installed. All you have to do is sign in. Once you sign in, you're able to select the folders that you want to synchronize and you let it synchronize. Next, we're going to infect the computer and see what happens. At 4.08 p.m., I got an email that says action required, signs of ransomware detected. So I got an email that tells me that my files, uh, they appear to be infected. And then it says go to OneDrive. Let's go to OneDrive. Sign in. Okay, when I log into my OneDrive, I get a message. <clears throat> it says, signs of ransomware detected. On 7-31-2021, your account started showing signs of suspicious activity. Take the steps below to make sure your files are okay. We'll ask you to verify your identity to make sure it is you before making big changes to OneDrive files. Confirm that your files are infected. We'll show you a few files. If they have the wrong name or suffix, or they don't look right, when you open them, they're likely impacted by ransomware. It says, ransomware detection and recovery are Microsoft 365 features in OneDrive. Again, because I'm not paying for the service at this point, this is the free service. They're saying that we're offering this service to you for free for the first time we detect that the files are compromised. If you find this valuable, we hope that you subscribe to Microsoft 365. So <clears throat> get started. So at this point, OneDrive is letting you know, and I'm going to expand this a little bit. So it's saying restore your drive. If something went wrong, you can restore OneDrive. It says that ransomware was detected on 7.31 at 2 p.m. The, the only thing that I have is this day because I don't have other days because I, I did this in one day. So what's going to happen? Let me open my computer. So my files are still infected under my documents. 
So I'm going to say restore and let's see what happens. Are you sure you want to restore your OneDrive? Yes, restore. And it says your OneDrive is being restored. So right now it's 9.50 p.m. We'll see how long it takes. So the process finished and right now it's going through the synchronization process of OneDrive back to the computer. So the one the the one drive is back to what it was before. Nice. Wow. Very nice. Okay. So we have come to the end of this video. And well, what can I say? That was a a very easy recovery. I there's not much for me to do. I was able to recover these files very quickly. So after cleaning up the virus, um, just go to OneDrive and you recover this data based on the information that they give you. So bottom line, would I use OneDrive as a backup in case of ransomware? Yes, I would. Definitely is very easy to recover. It's very simple and there's not much for me to do. All I gotta do is click, click, configure, confirm my identity, and my files are back. Thank you so much for staying with me until the end of the video. If you found value, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, this is a new channel and I'm building up my audience, so this would, will help me a lot. Leave me a comment down below. Anything helps just for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.